So I don't have much time because the battery's going low. I only have one pack, so let's go. So as some of you might know, I am a college student, and some of you might not know, hey, guess what? I'm a college student. I'm not doing a very good job. I have a very hard time retaining information, and I don't always blame other people. I mostly blame myself because, well, I, I cram and nothing happens. I need to be able to retain this, and yet I can't. So who do you blame? Other than blaming yourself, you always can blame the person whom is which is teaching you. Whatever this may be. It could be the teacher at school, your coach, your parents. You blame them because you can't retain the information. Yeah, it could be their fault, but hey, who's keeping track? So when it comes to teachers, no matter who you are, whether you're a parent, whether you're a coach, whether you're a karate instructor, whether you're an aerobics instructor, whether you're a teacher at school, I always feel like that certain instructors have a hard time teaching people. I don't know if it's just the place I live or what, but it's like, you guys can't grasp something and it's annoying. It's like, you guys can't grasp that people learn through different ropes, okay? Um, me, personally, I am a visual learner. I need visual aids. I need things to attach information to. Otherwise, it won't just stick. It's just words and stuff and things. So it doesn't hold. So when I'm given, say, a math class and doesn't know how to retain information, um, it's not just the instructor I have to worry about. It's also myself. And on that note, the instructor I currently have for math has this very thick Indian accent. And it's not his fault, okay? It's not even the accent, because I can understand the words that are coming out of his mouth. It's not the problem. The problem is, he has this really bad choice of words. He says, this is this, and this is this. That's not a very good teacher. You can talk about how you've been teaching for 25 plus years all you want, and you have this degree. That doesn't mean anything when you have students sitting there with blank looks on their faces. Anymore, we pretty much just say, yeah, we understand, just so we can move on, so we can leave the class, and so we can drill the math ourselves. Because he can't tell us. We'll ask a simple little question, and he'll explain the whole shenanigans. And we're just like, no, no, just answer my question. And, and the next time he does it, I'm going to go ape crazy on him. <laughs> because we'll ask a little question, and he'll just explain. Like ponies pooping rainbows. So there's a few things I want instructors, whether you're a teacher, uh, an aerobics instructor, a coach, a parent. Parents pay attention to this because I have a problem with mine currently. And every time I talk about it, I'm looked at as if I'm spoiled. But here are three things that you as a, a role model, as a teacher, as an instructor need to understand about us and here and not just us but what you need to do as a teacher that we hate the most and I'm not talking about don't give us homework because that's inevitable but here's some things that you you need to understand one you need to stop being cocky okay just because you got some PhD or you've been teaching for 25 plus years don't make you hot shit okay quit being cocky two do not give us your political agenda. We don't care if you're voting for Obama or Romney or hell if you're going to vote Big Bird. The point is, give us both sides of the story and leave it alone. You can give us your opinion, but you can't tell us that this person is right and this person is wrong. Okay? That's not your right. Your right is to tell us both sides. Quit giving us your political agendas. Nobody cares. And three, probably the most important. This is going to be easiest if you have... Um, Sorry, I have candy. <laughs> I have uh, Mike and Ike's in a little pill bottle that looks like the pill bottle from Left 4 Dead. Sorry about the sound. There you go. Pain reliever. Can't read it because I'm too fast. Delicious. Um, you have to take advantage of the small classrooms. I'm not kidding. If you have a small class of about 30 people max, learn about your students. I have no problem with filling up papers that says, you know, I don't know what I want to do with my life. Well, I'm going to be a nurse major. Or I'm going to be this major. Or I like airplanes. Don't freaking matter. When a teacher wants to learn more about the students, it's a good thing. Because then they can learn about how a student learns. And you have to learn to bend. What I mean by that, you have to learn how other students learn on an individual level. I personally need visual aids. So if you can give me a visual reason or a visual um, display of what is happening through repetition, I will grasp it well. 
strong in vocabulary also helps. Use wide variety of words. You're killing two birds with one stone if you're teaching math and science by doing that. So use high vocabulary, but don't be ridiculous. There's my little rant for the day. Hopefully the ending will be nice. Um, for those, um, for those who have heard my rant before, this kind of is an attachment to that. I'm not going to go into the details. I did that once before. I'm not going to do it. Um, I could, but nobody cares. So, uh, if something's not working, try something else. You know, it, it just all loops around. Anyway, I'm rambling. I will talk to you all later. This is Megan for PRS Films. Hopefully you all have a good night. and I will see you guys at a later time. Um, I posted the D&D footage, and I don't think anybody wants it up, so I might have to take that down. Anyway, I will talk to you all later. Peace out. <sighs> Is it just me?